Welcome to PAB 2012. I'm not a big fan of using the microphones. I wish everybody would move in so I didn't have to because I'm really bad at this. But um, No, a while ago, I've always kind of wanted to speak at PAB. Um, never really kind of had the courage to. Um, but um, that said, I typically have a bit of a, a way of kind of just knee-jerk reaction to just about everything, um, which when I got an email from these guys was, I'm like, yeah, you know what, fuck it, let's just do it. Um, and I'm kind of mad at Bob for, for saying um, how, you know, he's trying to follow up on all this stuff and look really, you know, try to, try to lower the bar. And I'm going to kind of accept some praise now from everybody that's going to follow for how bad a job I might do. But um, <laughs> no, I typically, I, I, don't, I don't like to plan things. Um, I made a couple of notes. Um, I kind of kept a note going and just kind of let things stew for a while. Um, probably not going to hit five minutes, but... <laughs> Um, so I, I just kind of want to walk through a lot of the stuff that a lot of this stuff has changed my life. Um, years and years ago, actually, we were having a conversation last night, Neil, wherever he is, um, we were talking about kind of the early days of podcasting and reading like the Wired articles um, about podcasting and getting into this. And, and, and even back then, it was kind of like, you know what, fuck it, I can do this. Um, so I started kind of releasing podcasts. And I've listened to some of that stuff. It is just freaking horrible. Um, not just my stuff, uh, uh, mostly just my stuff, but, but a lot of the stuff that, that people were releasing. But it was so amazingly awesome. Um, I've found in a lot of cases the coolest stuff happens when we kind of just say fuck it and do it. Um, I don't typically ask for permission, and I think it was partly kind of some of my upbringing. Um, so I started podcasting, and then I heard about this PAB thing, and I was like, fuck, I'm going to go to this conference. Um, so I put on this kind of, you know, I, I made the trip to Kingston and, and uh, hung out with these cool people and everything, um, which was kind of the, the, the extension of, of starting this, um, I'm going to start looking at my notes now. Um, when I got done that, I was kind of like, you know what, I, I'd like to find these people in, in, in London, um, where I'm from. Um, so I said, you know what, fuck it, let's, Twitter was just starting, so I found a couple of locals on Twitter, and I said, uh, you know, let's get together for some beers. And for a long time, Will remembers, I mean, there was three or four of us for months. Um, but now there's like 50 people that get together every month. Um, so it's, it's, it was, it, to kind of bring back my, my, t my the title out, um, it was just getting out there. Um, it was getting out and releasing audio, you know, getting it out there, and then getting myself out there, going to a conference the first time. Um, and then kind of getting out and meeting people in, in local in London. And from that, I met a whole pile of cool people, and, uh, and I put on the first pod camp there, um, which had like 200 people, which was insane. Um, I thought there was going to be 20 or 30 of us in a little, uh, in a little hotel conference space. Um, and from that, I actually founded a nonprofit um, in London for kind of promotion of digital media and stuff. And um, some people have been in the space that we have there. Um, we actually put a hacker lab together. Um, we built a podcast studio there. Um, I mean, there's just so much stuff that, that, that's come out of, um, of just getting out there and doing it and not asking permission. Um, when I started the pod camp, I was like, you know what? People had a hard time writing checks to me. So I was like, what can we do to help this out? Um, so we put together the nonprofit, and basically what it allows a lot of people in London to do um, is put on conferences and, and, and that type of stuff. And there's some cool things that have happened. We've worked, done a bunch of work at the city. Um, and it was, again, just all because we went and got out there. We said, screw it. Like, you know, nobody else is going to do this, so let's start doing it. Um, and then um, about a year and a half ago, um, some guys were getting into running. Um, some people, I think most people here know me, know my history, what I looked like in years past. Um, I said, screw it. I'm just going to start getting out there and running. Um, and, uh, and 13 months later, I was down about 130 pounds and running half marathons and that. So just the nature of getting out there. Um, I bought a bicycle and started biking to work, like 18 kilometers, like crazy stuff like that. Um, <laughs> rolled a kayak in December um, on my own knock down a river. Um, but I mean, there, I've had all of these experiences just because I stopped asking permission from everybody um, and just started doing it, getting out there and doing things. Um, so I, I just want to encourage everybody. I mean, the, 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 another story that I like telling all the time is one of the guys that came out to one of the early geek dinners that we do in London um, was talking about his podcast and how he's such an audiophile, which I always hated. Um, he said he wanted to release a podcast, but he couldn't get it sound quite just quite right. Um, that was when did we start doing Geek Dinner? 2006? Um, so he was probably mid-2006 or so that, that, he, that he was telling us this. Still haven't heard a podcast from the guy. Um, which is just, a, 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 
not saying that it was going to be anything life changing or, or anything like that, but but he's still not doing it. I mean, with some of the stuff we do with the the Castler podcast and that, um, we just keep putting it out there. We stop kind of thinking about it. Sure, we do a little bit of editing and whatnot, but but uh, we just get it out there. Um, you know, don't think too much of it, and and some crazy things happen. And um, I just want to encourage everybody to get out and do it. Thanks, Bill.